Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to the uh, Northwoods Homestead here. I'm Justin. My uh, wife Mackenzie's around. She'll be joining us here in a little bit. Just kind of wanted to give you guys an update as to where we're at there. Yeah, it's me. I got this bad boy on right here because let me tell you, the bugs and the gnats out here are freaking crazy. Like, the mosquitoes suck. Don't get it twisted. But you can spray DEET down and they go away. These gnats... I swear to God, you put DEET on and they are attracted to it, okay? They will come right to you. If I leave this off of my face for long enough, it's like god dang horse and tsetse flies all over the place here. And, and, and they just they get in your mouth and it's just nasty. It's just terrible. So, we'll, we'll, well, as we go here... And we'll, we'll see how things how things turn out. All right. So, uh, but just kind of a, a basic update as to where we're at. There we got a little bit of our uh, wood pile going over here, as you can see, and that's our uh, manual wood cutter there, wood splitter. Actually, pretty cool. Uh, I, I was a little unsure about it there. Um, you know, I've seen uh, automatic uh, wood splitters there, but this manual pneumatic one here, you put the log in there and you kind of roll it back and forth like you're doing cross country skiing and boom, slaps them right in half there. You just got to make sure you give them the right length there. Uh, now, the last time I, I, I talked to you guys, I was talking about clearing this land out and all the uh, rocks that uh, are there. And uh, look at this, babe, come here. Come here. I just want to give you comparisons. Look at these rocks. We pulled out what? Right up here? Yeah. Yeah. We've got Think maybe so got maybe 20 mess. maybe 20 square feet, maybe. And we went down maybe 4, four inches, inches, maybe well, 4 I inches. We started going down 4 inches because if I went down shovel length there's a, it's just pointless. There was nothing but rock and root. <laughs> and root. Oh yeah, here, here. Come here, let me show you my root pile here. Or our root pile. Mackenzie was up here with the shovel digging away. I was up here pickaxing it away. This right here. That, that's root. That's just root. Only, that's not wood. That's it's root. And maybe 20 square or 20 like feet. Either way. All of it was from right in here. These trees right here. I told you about how they hug the tree. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I gotta show you this. Hold on. This hugging. I've already pulled a good portion of these out of here, but they just hug right inside of this thing. I I, I had my pickup <laughs> four low man, first second gear tops, chained up to death. How long did it take me to get this far with it? half hour plus a few rechains 45 minutes to an hour okay let's be real here it was and it ridiculous also wiped out one of my favorite trees. I, I did wipe out some some of the uh some of the fun trees with the white flowers on them and stuff like that when Where i demanded stayed the chain ended up going the chain got it chain got it i'm sorry <laughs> tried to yank it out and it just went all wrong there but uh got a couple burn piles going here which you know, hopefully, you know, it'll be a uh, muggy enough day that he wouldn't think it'd be a problem out here. You know, land at 10,000 lakes, you know, it's, like it's, a a it's wet, but no, no burn. We, we've even got the permit. We went and we got the permit for it and everything like that. We can activate it each day. It's still, no, it's going to burn the whole damn forest forest down here so anyways maybe they're they're a little nervous about the cloquet fire you know from a hundred years ago or something like that and that that's we fair in the valley. we are in the cloquet valley there um what do you think our biggest issue is right now our biggest issue yeah rocks, rocks and roots and roots and, and gnats and digging all this up gnats is my biggest issue i don't care about digging oh, the gnats up. suck man yeah but anyways, you see, you get kind of used to them. My my arm was covered in just brown and ick from where the gnats just get on you and you just, you got to wipe them away and they just make a mess on you. Make a nasty, nasty well, we mess also, on you. Uh, we also had like a lot of um, people. It's Memorial Day weekend. We've had a lot of people who are usually using this road 
to go back on their ATVs. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. And we had a lot of people who are Straight a little bummed out uh, that they can't use our road right now, especially. Yeah, um, as we've mentioned in some of the episodes, we'd had some trespassing issues, uh, which are done. You know, we're not having those kind of issues anymore, but uh, we still get a lot of folks up here that are, you know, with Memorial Day weekend passing, especially. like she said. Um, it, they're just, they keep coming knocking and man, if they're not a little bummed, but Hey, you know, we're, uh, it, it's, it's our private road and we're working on it and we'd really love someday to maybe carve out some sort of trail back here for them or something. We want to work um, with the, with the township and hopefully they can come up with something fun and even, you know, involve us in some ways because we really, really look forward to yeah. being a part of the community and we can help it. Right. Um, there, there's a, a group around here. I believe they call themselves the Pequon Trail Bla Trail Blazers. I haven't haven't looked them up too much yet, but uh, they apparently th that's their thing. They make trails and they blaze them and stuff. And it'd be cool to kind of work with them and see mm -hmm. if we can't get some sort of you know private public access something here that we'll we can see. work with. But we'll see. We got a lot of work ahead of us. We still got a cottage to build out One here. One step in front of the other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of steps, but hey. We're moving along. We're getting it done here. Um, a lot of work ahead of us still, but it's a labor of love. You know, it's 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 ours. It's our place, and everything we're doing, we're doing it for us. Hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll get a little more of the the homestead going here. Um, a little less of the camp life there, but you got to start somewhere there. And you know, we're we're plugging along, and we're and trying we're to adapting. get this cleared out. Oh man, we're adapting. Let me tell you what. And, that's that's my that's my bug spray stuff over there. We got sprays and we've got sprays and then we've got more sprays and, and then there's none of them and then there's dust working. and then there's <laughs> DEET that we put on us and this thing right here, gold. That's the only thing that seems to work. It's just, it's a, it's a sheet of gold to save my face because I'll tell you what, it's terrible otherwise. So, but show uh, from this angle. Oh yeah, here here here's the rock pile. There you Down. go. Yeah. That's it right there. Whoa. <laughs> and we got yards to go. I yards mean, to go. Tons of it. Well, honestly, we just moved the tent to flatten out the ground because the roots were starting to come up underneath it pretty bad. And we decided to make this more of our storage tent which has been actually working out really nice. We wake up, we cook, we have our coffee in here in the morning, and we just sleep in a different tent. So, especially since it's been nicer outside, it's uh, been easier to do that. Oh, it's been oh, it's been beautiful out here. Uh, just gorgeous sunsets, wonderful weather. A little hoggy and mutt and hot and muggy, but it's not bad, you know. And the bugs, they're they're not great, but I mean, you get it. You get it done there. You get it done. Yeah, they're eating me alive You're here, so man. Bad. Odin. <laughs> Odin breathed a gnat in. <laughs> oh yeah, our son Odin, our oldest son, He's is four. funny. I, I told him I said I could see he was struggling and sneezing, and I said, "Blow your nose, buddy." He's kind of looking at me. I was like, you know, I'm showing him the the, the farmer blow. The farmer blow there, and he goes like this. And he blows, and I shit you not, a bug goes poop, and he sniffs and right back inside. I said, "Oh." <laughs> And I, I told him to snot it again. He shoots it out. And yeah, anyways, um, bugs up the nose, bugs up the ears, bugs up all kinds of places. Um, but hey, that's the adventure, right? Mm-hmm. It's what we're doing. I don't know how you can stand there and not just get eaten alive like that. I think that. this hat helps. I'm damn. Maybe. Like, I'm pretty sure this hat helps. I'm dancing over here. And I have pants on. That helps. I've already got like 10 new bug bites. I can feel it. It's all right, though. They weren't as bad as they were the other day. Yeah. So, anyways, we just kind of wanted to give you guys an update. Not a whole lot going on right now other than just a lot of... Trees are budding. Excavating. Oh, it's looking beautiful Lots out here. Lots of uh, flowers budding around the area. I think we have maybe an apple tree or two, maybe some wild strawberries. 
tons of wild raspberries. Oh, we got wild raspberries coming out, out the wazoo. our ears. Even the neighbors, when they came over and they, they saw that we've got it blocked off here and everything, they're like, oh, man, you guys got the raspberry trails back there and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Even they know. Man, it's heard, looking good. We've asked a few neighbors, and nobody's really said anything, but I guess there's a, uh, we met one neighbor today that comes up uh, for hunting, and apparently he has seen some wolves out here. So I was wondering. I really thought there was some. Nobody has said anything. They've just said they've seen like foxes and beavers and chipmunks and stuff like that. But I had a feeling I saw some <laughs> quote unquote scat. Yeah. Scat. Scat. I don't know if that's what you call it for wolves, but. <laughs> well, guys, we'll try to give you another update next time. Maybe, you know, some of this will be in more bloom and we can show you some of the more of the beauty of the area there. Mm -hmm. Take you guys back to some of our trails back there and show you what's going on. But uh, for now, we're going to we're going to get back to work, get some stuff done around here. And no, uh, we're not. It's Memorial Day weekend. We're going to go up and have some fun. She finked me out. I did. She did. That's we're we're going to we're going to go to a barbecue and we're going to have some fun with the family and stuff. And. <laughs> But, uh, and then we're going to come back to work. We'll see you guys <laughs> next time. Talk to you guys later. Bye.